Voting for Donald Trump, the highest Republican woman in Connecticut, saying today she voted for the Republican frontrunner in our state's primary. That despite exit polling showing large percentages of Connecticut women saying they could never vote for Donald Trump. So why did she vote that way? Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with more tonight on that. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Anna Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, there's been a lot of consistent reporting that a lot of women do not like Donald Trump. But a very, very prominent Republican Connecticut woman thinks he'd be good for the party. Thousands of Connecticut residents attended Donald Trump's three campaign events here that helped catapult him to a resounding victory in the Republican primary. One of those that attended and has now announced she voted for him is the highest ranking elected woman Republican in the General Assembly, House Minority Leader Themis Claritas. She had loudly criticized some of the things Trump had said in the past about women and others, but apparently now feels he is good for the party. To see people from such a large cross-section of society interested in him, not the usual people that go to the polls every time and vote for a Republican because they're registered Republican. That's not going to win us elections. She compares the excitement around Donald Trump to the excitement Barack Obama created for the Democrats eight years ago. Excitement that change in Washington can actually happen. People need to feel there's hope and excitement for that change. And I haven't seen any other candidate who has given people that excitement. The Republican leader in the state Senate is still firmly behind Ohio Governor John Kasich and is not ready to follow his Republican colleagues' lead on Trump. I think he's a very smart man. You can't be that successful without being smart. I think he needs to change his rhetoric an awful lot for me to get closer and warm up to him. Prior to Claritas, Waterbury State Representative Tony D'Amelio was Trump's only supporter in the legislature. He introduced Trump at the big rally on Saturday. We go into that convention and Donald Trump is within striking distance of 100 votes and they don't give it to him, I think there's going to be a huge backlash within uh, our society and especially against the Republican uh, establishment. And Representative Tony D'Amelio of uh, Waterbury believes that that backlash would travel all the way down the ballot and even affect Republicans way down running for state rep like him. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.